What's up everybody? I'm George and welcome to the Blade HQ warehouse. Once again, welcome to Blade HQ everybody. I'm George. And I'm Theo. And today we are kicking off the new year strong with new knives. And if the year is gonna have a lot of new knife videos like this, then this is gonna be the best year of knives ever. Yeah, these are pretty sick. Starting with the alluvial. Yeah, I'm looking forward to these. These are sick. I'm, as we know, I'm the, I'm the Slimmy Jimmy, Sli Team Slimmy Jimmy. Mm -hmm. These are some nice slim autos that are like very reasonably priced and have a great action to them. Like they kick butt. Yeah, so I got hired on at Blade HQ in the year 2019. And when I hired on, I came in and I went to my manager's office and there was a prototype alluvial on the desk. And they're finally coming out. <laughs> these have been years in the making and you can tell how much thought and effort has gone into these. So we're trying to figure out why it's alluvial because alluvium is like the sediment deposited by, I guess our boss Jim used to study geology and he was saying that when in an arid climate, a bunch of water comes and deposits that silt and then dries up, it leaves this alluvial fan and it has all this silt. And we thought maybe it's like this texture here, it's kind of smooth. And it, it looks kind of pebbly at the bottom, yeah. Like uh, there's like a section that looks a little bit like a flag and then there's some pebbly stuff there. Yeah, I don't know. But some of my favorite things knife-wise speaking, less geology, is look at this lanyard hole. One of the most interesting lanyard holes I've ever seen. So it comes oh. in on the bottom and it comes out on this backside. <laughs> I had not so, seen that. Yeah, so if you want to run a lanyard on this thing, First of all, you're, you're gonna be able to like take it apart and put it back on without having to remove your lanyard because it's connected here, but also you're gonna have a very clean appearance on the front. Yeah, I, I love it when they do like a thing to hide it. I think CJRB does that. I will, we'll get to one or an artisan, um, but they have like the bar instead of the holes, which looks great. This is a cool way to do it too. I didn't even notice that when we were first looking at it. Yeah, and this nice deep carry pocket clip. And my favorite thing is this blade. So you get a nice thick stout area back here for when you're actually cutting. Mm -hmm. But then when it comes down, it narrows off this spine here. And that gives you a thinner tip for piercing, which would be very nice for like everyday carry tasks. I think this is the best EDC option for Boker OTFs. Not Boker, I would agree with excuse that. Excuse me, yeah, Boker Automatics sure. so far. Great. I like the that shelf too. It's nice for you like reaching your finger up and having somewhere to place or your thumb. Like mm -hmm. these, I think that there's a reason that they had years in the making because they were well thought out. Yeah, so we got the black one, the green one with the black stone wash blade, and then this all black one. And these go for $69.95 at bladehq.com, and you can only find them at bladehq.com. And you were really excited to tell us about this artisan, so why don't you I kick it off for us? This is an artisan Arian, I think, A or like Arian, A R I, -I O N. Um, <laughs> interesting name. I think it has to do with mythology. I can't remember the name of it specifically, mm -hmm. or the, the reasoning behind it specifically. But this one's got like the purple fat carbon, kind of like the pyrite that we had recently. And purple then, haze. Yeah, the purple haze. It looks great. I don't know if you're going to be able to get like the glint of it in the light, but oh, the purple and the glint look great together. Uh, it's got a titanium frame lock on the other side, but with PVD like, coated titanium. Yeah, it looks great. It's got that subtle, um, the subtle milling marks to it that are like the purposeful ones. So it has some texture and it looks great. I think it's on bearing, so it comes out awesome. Mm -hmm. And it's very flickable. Yeah, super flickable, really nice and light. I, it's thin, but it, it's wide, so it's not my preference, but like, <laughs> it's very thin. Yeah, it's one of those knives that like is bigger than it feels. Mm. And that, I mean that in the good way. So like you get all the edge what you want out of it, but it feels nimble in the hand and very everyday carry friendly. Also pocket friendly, since it's mm -hmm. so, like the pocket clip is small, it looks like a pen, kind of unassuming, but also it's just very thin and light. So in the pocket, oh, even though it's kind of wide, it, it would that. feel good. That pocket clip has no hardware on the outside. That is clean. Oh, we like to see it and it's nice and clean. Just like the lanyard hole in this one. Oh, it's yeah, the it's got loop that little bar instead of a bar. hole. Man, what a lot of great lanyard holes this year. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I never thought this would be the year of the lanyard hole, but it is. Finally, people figured out how to hide them, but make them useful too. I love it. It also matches your shirt. Hey, look at that, it totally does. <laughs> now I have to get one. I might get the pyrite, actually. I like a button lock. The pyrite looks really, is, it is really good. It's not just looks, oh, what's the steel on this one? Um, S35BN. Gotcha. Titanium frame lock, I mean, there's nothing to complain about there. You can get the Arion on Blade HQ at $199.95. It's a pretty solid deal for the materials and build you're getting. I'd say so. Nothing, nothing not to like. 
Now this next one you have been ogling over since you pulled it out of the box. <laughs> Dude, so why don't you tell us yet. about it? This one's nice and small. I'm a, I'm a fan of the small ones. Uh, it's got that marbled carbon fiber. This is the Vero Engineering Mini Synapse. Uh, it's so clean looking. The lines are clean. The branding is clean. I, I know a lot of people don't like that billboarding thing that some people do. This one's just Vero on the top here, nice and clean. And then uh, on the bottom side, I believe this is the model, not the number, but the, the serial number of the model, correct? Um, I would there. assume so. I, I'm going to assume it's that that's the case. It's a fairly new brand for Blade HQ. I don't know Vero super well. These are great. They have a tiny, tiny little back flipper. So if you like the Spider Coast smock, it's a really similar opening. And then they also have a channel on, the, on only one side, but on the side that you can use your middle finger and flip that thing open. Yeah. So a few weeks ago, there was a petrified fish Victor that had that feature. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I'd seen it, but now we're seeing it more. Is this like flicking channel? Yeah, like a subtle channel to do it. Instead of kind of like this this whole one, they've got just a shallow cut into it so you can get your finger in there. Yeah, that gives you a really clean blade appearance, but on the back, just a super nice flicky action. Mm -hmm. I love this thing. I kind of like how it's like so clean, but also sort of industrial at the same time. Like it's got a good aesthetic to it. Yeah, I mean, it's Vero Engineering after <laughs> all. Do we go over the uh, lanyard hole on this one? Does it have one? Um, I don't think it has one. <laughs> I don't one. think it does. Honestly, I don't think it needs one, though. I don't think so, either. Like, it's it's just a simple, clean design, and it looks so good. And look at this pocket clip. Like, that is just the right amount of pocket clip. Hidden hardware again. I did, like, I think we're in the year of good pocket clip. Sorry, uh, This is the uh, year of the lanyard hole and the yeah, good pocket clip. Yeah, lanyard hole and the good pocket clips. Like, hidden hardware on this one, hidden hardware on that one. Hidden hardware on this one. So, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna get roasted for it, but I'm gonna call it the year of the knife butt. N knife butt? Yeah, you know, like, you got the butt of your knife, and you go pom pom pom, that's the <laughs> butt of your knife. And this year, I mean, I mean, they must be doing lunges all 2022. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> so the Vero is going for 335 plus, depending on handle material, finish variation. It's got an M390 blade, too. Not a bad deal. Not bad at all. Now, I, I would call this one a Slimmy Jimmy. I'd say so. It's a little bit, it's actually thicker than this one, like the, uh, the Aryan, but dimension-wise, Slimmy Jimmy. Yeah, and then this next one I would definitely call a honky chunker, <laughs> yeah. but it's called the Slim. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? I was just basking the irony. Oh my, the fat carbon on this one is so good looking. Yeah, that blue, I think like, what they call that. I don't know, but it looks like my, we're, we're just matching the knives on the table. He's got the Aryan, I've got the Slim. I feel like that's a thumbnail. Ready for this? <laughs> Here, you hold this one by your sweater, I'll hold this one by mine. <laughs> We're so cute. Anyway, um, so yeah, the Berg Blades Slim. And this what? is a hefty one too. It's not even just, it's called Slim, but it's not thin and it's not light either. This is a little chunker. Yeah, it wants to go to work. It, it does wants to chop something. It's a good blade for it too, especially like if you're if you're just like hacking through it. If you were carving stuff, this would be great mm -hmm. actually. It's super comfortable. You have to get up on the bolster when you're holding it, but like you can get a full hand on there and it's really comfortable. So I think I would probably just go back and I'd loop my pinky right here across the handle and mm. I wouldn't have to be up on the bolster as much, get maybe a little bit more leverage on the tip. I don't know. The world is full of adventures. At least the Bird Blade Slim is. And look at that thumb hole. Like that, <laughs> I don't care how poofy your gloves are, you're gonna be able to open yeah, You'll be fine, you'll be fine. You yeah. can even spider drop that thing if you wanted to. Let's see, can I flick? Can he flick? He can flick. I like it. So these ones start at 375 and they are quite nice. Hey, actually, Tomas was telling me. He was saying that you can pinch a knife like this and then just flick yeah, it like that. Spider drop, sorry, not spider flick, my bad. Oh, yeah. spider drop. Did yeah. you say spider drop? Is that I a thing? I think I did, yeah. Call it, it that? It's the, because you hold the spider hole and learn stuff new every day. How about that? Spider drop. I'll call it that forever now. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna keep it with the Berg Blades brand. This one is much slimmer. This one is, what is it, like a mini cleaver, right? Mini, mini barber. barber. Mini barber, my bad. Yeah, so I like I mean, this one like a lot give too. yourself a neck shave with that thing. <laughs> yeah, you probably could. It's so Look thin by the edge. Grind. Oh my goodness. The edge is super thin. It's also great looking satin on there. I don't know if it's satin finish or just the way that they ground it down. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. and I like how you have the, like, the long wise satin here and then the short wise mm. kind of gives some textural contrast. Yeah, it feels good in the hand. Looks good, feels good. Like I, I love the, I love when there's like a swoop in the blade so you can just get your thumb on it and when you're using it just, I don't know, I do a lot of wood carving in my apartment. Why? So I'm, you don't, do you have a deck or something? No, just like little things like gnomes. I, I, I carve gnomes, gnomes, maybe. Dude, carve me a gnome. I'll, I'll carve you a gnome. I'll bring it next time. 
Thanks. Yeah, so you were tr you're fiddling with this one again. I mean, you you and you this one and the Vero. These were your favorites mm. from a minute ago. Yeah. But what you're trying to do is so I mean, the old straight razors had this little notch right here, so you could grab your nail on it. Yeah. You were trying to like Emerson that. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. It didn't work. I bet it would work. You'd have to give it some practice. I think I, maybe. I almost worried that I could like slice my pocket off. Like I know that the Emerson is like on purpose, like it's already out of your pocket, but this one's this one's like right up already. You're, yeah. you're at the tip already. I don't know. I think it could be done. If you get one of these, if you get a mini barber and you manage to spidey flick it, not spidey flick it, if you manage to Emerson open it, um, let us know and send us a video because we'd love to see it happen. That would actually be pretty cool to see. Yeah, so these ones have M390 blades and they start at 295. Top flipper too. I forgot about that part. There's a top flipper on that. Yeah, look at that. You got the thumb stud, you got the top flipper, you've got the maybe pocket <laughs> snag opener. The sort of wave thing. Once again, a, a knife of, of adventure. And lastly, we have the honkiest chonker. <laughs> the biggest of the beasts. Biggest of the beasts. This is the American-made Demco Knives AD20S. This is a Blade HQ exclusive, so it's got the full titanium handle, a CPM M4 blade, and it is a beast. It is a chunk. It, 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 like all around this thing is just thick scales, thick, like in terms of width, the whole thing is like, whoop. But like it isn't unwieldy. I it's... don't, I don't dislike it. I do like this one actually. Would you carry it? I don't know if I'd carry it. I might have to. I know that they make like the, like uh, the FRN kind of handled one. Five, yeah. yeah, this one looks good. I, I've seen videos about this. This is so much cooler in person than I was expecting. And like the shark lock on this thing is, it's so fidgety and fun. Like you, I'm, I'm a, I'm a big fidgeter with these things. Oh, oh, I can't get it. You got it. There it is. <laughs> uh, but they're fun. It's, yeah. it's definitely made for work. You can beat the crap out of it. If I remember, the shark lock is one of the strongest locks you can get. And it's Andrew Demko design, and that man, he designs locks. It's surprising how it, it's so strong, yet it's also so easy to man, like operate. Like a back lock, just a traditional one, is really strong, but closing one is kind of a pain. Like you can't just easily close it. This one you can just flick it like a like an access lock you could flick open or like a button lock. It's just really easy to do, but it's so strong. Yeah, if I had to liken this onto a car, I would call this like a Bugatti. They are big, monstrous machines, but they are so perfectly tuned and so well built that they are the fastest, most excellent vehicles there are. And I think that's what this is. It is so well built that it does everything that a knife is supposed to do just about perfectly, even though it's big and chunky. Yeah, and that's, I love that's it. fair. I think that's fair comparison. And it doesn't cost two point five million dollars either. I think that's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's that's a lot of new knives. There you are. That is indeed. These are all so cool. Like some of the ones that we've gone through in the past, are like oh, this is kind of neat. It's kind of neat. These are. I like these a lot. These are all yeah. really cool. I this, like the carbon on them. The different materials. All the bolster locks that we've got. I didn't even realize that we got three of them on the table. Mm -hmm. New stuff. Oh man. Man. Well, we're off to a great start, and there's only one way to go, but up. That's true. Stick with us for the rest of the year. Subscribe to Blade HQ and see all the new knives that'll come out. We have weekly new knife videos and lots of other knife banters and other fun content coming your way. Join us, leave a comment, tell us what you like, and we'll see you on the next one. What are you doing? Stop this. Get my groove on, dude. All right. <laughs>